recording and share my screen. Can everyone see that? Cool. I can't see you, so I'm assuming that everyone's nodding. <laughs> um, yes. Great. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm assuming you're all here because you're interested in AEP. Um, so I'll talk a little bit about what AEP is about, what we do, how it works, um, and what we did last year. And then you'll hear from Ben, who's one of our alums. Um, and then there'll be some time to ask questions. So here we go. Um, so what we do at AEP is we're a domestic exchange program for high school seniors. So that basically means kind of like the idea of a foreign exchange, except within the US, um, you'll get a chance to go on a trip for free, all expenses paid, flights, food, lodging, everything um, to a different part of the country. So. This past summer, we went to Lake Charles, Louisiana, Kilgore, Texas, Wellesley, Massachusetts, and Palo Alto, California. And so students from those areas all got to go to a different one and then host people back in their town. Um, and so some of the highlights from the trip, uh, you'll get to stay with another AEP student and their family. So you get to really see what life is like there, get to know a family, get to do stuff that they like to do. They'll kind of show you around um, you'll work on an event in the local community. So part of what we'll do is volunteer at some sort of event, like a country fair, um, an arts festival, whatever's going on in the community that summer. Um, and you'll get to do different things, explore the area, shown around by students. So they'll get to really, because they're from there. Um, so then I have some highlights. So last summer, as I said, we went to California, Texas, Louisiana, and Massachusetts. Um, I got to go to Louisiana and Massachusetts. And part of the Palo Alto trip is students got to go hike to a view of the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, they also got to go kayaking with otters um, and explore San Francisco. And then Kilgore, I really wished I got to go on this trip. Um, students got to work on it. I heard they had to get up at like 6 a.m., which I don't think our teenagers were super thrilled about, um, but everyone said it was an awesome experience. Lots of cool photos. Um, they also all got outfitted from a local person who donated um, cowboy boots and hats. So I think that was a pretty cool experience from the people from the North who'd never really been on a ranch before or experienced any of that Southern culture. And then in Lake Charles, this is one of the trips I got to go on. Um, we got to visit a friend who makes accordions, um, which seems really complicated. We got to go and tour his accordion shop. Um, he's actually in a Cajun music band. So then we went back to his place. They made us some Cajun food and played music and we attempted to learn to dance to Cajun music. I don't think it did so well, but it was a lot of fun. And then lastly, this was the trip to Wellesley. So you can see Ben and I starring in this photo. Um, we went into Boston for a day and we got to do a tour of Fenway Park um, and then attend a Red Sox versus Yankees game, which was super fun. We did get rained on and I think it went on a little long for a lot of people's liking, but it was a good time. Um, now I'll let Ben jump in. Ben, if you wanna just share kind of anything, your highlights from the summer, what you liked about it, what you learned with AEP, um, just briefly, if you'd like. Yeah, for sure. Um, I would say that ultimately, I'll give you like a little bit of background. Uh, I joined the American Exchange Project um, in November of 2019. I took a little hiatus from it because I got really busy with school, but then I came back uh, after COVID like really hit. Uh, ended up making some really good friends through the program. Um, and then we were told, I think in September that we were gonna end up doing the program or the, um, the trip, which was like 
obviously really fun because like I mean it had never been done done before um so over the trip I got to meet all these people that I had kind of known for the, the past like year of my life that are going to be like very good friends of mine um and I guess like seeing them in person was uh, like probably one of the biggest like positives I can take out of this out of the whole uh trip um, and even then, like, we haven't seen each other in a couple of months now, but I, like, I'm still in a group chat with a couple of them and we still talk, like, basically every day. So uh, you definitely get to make some, like, very, like, great friends out of the program. Uh, but specifically for the trip, though, I would say that I know it's, like, the core mission of it, but ultimately, like, the getting to see, like, different parts of the country, I feel like was the best part not even in the sense like oh I got to go to Boston and like go walk around the city see Boston Harbor it was more of like getting to see like the nitty-gritty of like Wellesley Massachusetts which is kind of like an oxymoron <laughs> which um but no but seriously like I would say just like getting to see like how people live and just how like life is can be so much different really fostered like a, a better understanding of like just different parts of the country and I feel like that sentiment was shared by everyone no matter where they went um but yeah also um got to see alana do some uh step dancing that was fun got to um, do some little cultural things with everyone I, I honestly it was just like building the community it was like a big thing over two weeks and yeah that was a long-winded answer so it was really fun <laughs> mm -hmm. thanks ben awesome all right, I'll go back to, I have a couple more slides to present and then we'll go to questions. Um, all right, so here are some quotes. So we talked to all of our students after the trip um, and asked them to kind of reflect on, you know, what they learned, what stuck out from the trip what they might have been surprised by. Um, and a lot of students kind of had similar reactions. Like they were really surprised that people were able to have authentic discussions and listen to each other. Cause a lot of people have different views whether it's political views, different religious beliefs are definitely from different parts of the country kind of live different ways. Um, so people had a really fun time talking to each other and kind of tackling some of those tough issues um, and really forming friendships with people who they thought I ha might have nothing in common with this person or I can't imagine like their life must be so different than mine. Um, but people really found friendships through those differences, which I thought was awesome. Um, it was really fun for me to see everyone and I was kind of overseeing um and doing all the logistics but the best part for me was just hanging out with everyone and our chats we would have in lake charles we had a huge 15 passenger van that we felt like we lived in sometimes because we were driving around in it so much um but that was great just looking in the rearview mirror and seeing people laughing and playing games and just chatting and the goodbyes you could really tell people in a week got super close and are still keeping in touch which is awesome and then here are some faqs that have gone before um so sometimes students ask if i can't host someone in my home can i still participate in aep um and the answer is yes so we love our students to be able to host other students in their town if they can, um, but we understand if there isn't space, if there's other concerns, um, if students aren't able to host, they can still participate in kind of hosting the exchange in their town. Um, they can participate in all the activities, help plan activities, um, and be around for all the exchange going on in their town. Um, and we'll be able to find other housing for students who are visiting and then they'll still be able to travel as well. Um, and then, as I said before, AEP is totally free. Um, so all costs are covered, all meals, travel, any activities that we do on the exchange are all covered by AEP. Um, and then after we sign up, which I'll cover in the next slide, um, when we find out where you're traveling. Um, so on March 1st is our reveal day. So that's the day when students all find out where they're going, who they're staying with, um, and who else is going to be traveling and hosting them there. 
Um, so when you sign up, you'll be able to put preferences of where you'd like to travel. Um, and then you'll find out for sure on March 1st where you're going. Um, and then some of our students this past summer had other engagements, family things going on or summer job, they had to kind of keep working a little bit while the exchange was going on. Um, and so that's totally fine. We understand that that has to happen sometimes. Um, and so we just ask that host students try and plan to attend at least half of the activities that are happening in their town. Um, and if you're hosting someone, that's great. Um, but if you do have to, you know, go to your job sometimes, or if you had another engagement, um, that's fine. And we also offer students the opportunity to help organize an activity in their town. So if you're not able to participate as much as you'd like, um, you can kind of try and organize something, take us to one of your favorite places, um, and you'll work with the staff that's coordinating your trip um, to be able to do that. So then last, I know some of you have already signed up. I see some familiar names here. Um, but you just go to our website um, and we have a big interactive map on the homepage. So that has all of the travel destinations. Um, we're just finalizing the last few towns. So a few new ones might pop up, um, but you'll be able to check out a little write up of what the town is, what you can do there. Um, and then there's just an easy form to fill out. You'll put in some information about yourself, why you wanna do AEP, where you're from, and then you make your top five of where you'd like to travel. Um, and then there's also a host family form. So if you already know, I'm gonna be able to host someone in my town, um, you're gonna have you or your parent fill out that form. Um, and we'll also be offering some parent info sessions. So if your parents have questions and wanna learn more, um, keep your eye out on our social media and our website and we'll be able to send you to one of those. All right, so that is it for my slides. Um, does anyone have any questions that I didn't maybe cover in the FAQs? No questions? Ben, do you think there's anything I missed? Not especially. Um, I'll just like kind of back up what Lydia said as the, the subject of all of these <laughs> things happen over the summer. Um, for me, it became kind of like a, not a point of contention, but I was kind of stressed about like how I would manage my job um, and like doing the activities of the summer. But literally like if you're working and you have um, like an AP activity, very, very, very easy to like get out of it per se. It's very um, easy going for that. Um, as long as, like I said, like try to make like the majority of everything that happens, but um, you're not like locked in for the week or 10 days or however long you're there. Um, so it's very like accommodating. Um, another accommodation that was made, like I was like pretty drastically affected by uh, Hurricane Laura in 2020 um, and I couldn't host as a result. But once again, like that wasn't a barrier for like my participation in the program. Um, so I would say like, it's a very, very accessible program. Um, I would highly recommend everyone do it um, for no other reason than just like getting to go see somewhere else for free. Um, but like on like the basis of like friends, like I know I talked about that a little earlier, but like, or like, and Lydia touched on it too in the van, it but like the, the van situation was like, just like a very like good microcosm of how the entire trip was like everyone bonded so fast in those few weeks because it was such a new experience to everyone, um, that you just like really got to meet every, like got to know everyone. I think that like seriously, like everyone that I was on the trip with that I was like either like came to Lake Charles or I went to Wellesley for, I think I still keep in touch with like all of them, if not like minus, you know, one or two. Like you make like, in my opinion, like lifelong friends. Um, I know there's still some like plans for us to go see each other over Christmas break. Like it is literally cannot speak highly, like more highly of this program. Um, 
and I think it's like the administrators got to give a shout out to Lydia like get, get the whole thing together she she was uh glue and like uh, there's so many people in this program that like seriously care about it um if I didn't truly believe in like the mission of this program I wouldn't be here like not studying for this exam that I have tomorrow like I could not recommend this program more um but yeah no if y'all have any questions um you can ask now but if you think of any later like I'm sure Lydia could answer them or if you want it from like a student there's a ton of them and we were like like I said we were the pilot program so I'm sure it's going to get better and with like the more like we had a very good range of like well we only had I think four or five towns that we exchanged in I feel like they were very diverse but uh, it sounds like this next year there's going to be like I think it's a 25 like it's it's a it's a lot more so I think that like I said it's just going to keep getting better and better um and I can try to offer any like answers to questions if y'all are curious um and like I said Lydia can get you in touch with me um but yeah awesome thanks Ben um yeah totally I mean my contact info is out there it should be on the website as well um but my email address is just lydia at american exchange project.org um i'll send it in chat so you all have it too um and there should be there's a lot of faq pages on the website too so and there's also videos so chances are if you're wondering something it's hopefully answered on there or feel free to reach out to us um we have a bunch of awesome students none quite as awesome as ben um, but they would be definitely happy to talk to you about their experience, answer any questions, um, and feel free in the next couple of minutes, if anyone has anything, um, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, you are free to go, and thank you all for coming. It's nice to see some new faces. Um, hope to see you on the sign-up form or hear from you soon.